Jesus. Baby. I'm home. Sound I don't know what happened to her. I just came back home from work. She was okay when I when I left her. And then I saw her on the, on the floor. Baby. Baby. Hey. Doctor, what's the problem? Please, we should be able to talk to Please talk to me. Sir, don't worry. Your wife will be fine. Please, can I see you in my office? Okay. Doctor, who is not serious? This one is not serious. Mr. Dari, has your wife ever been involved in an accident? Accident? No. Not that I know of. Does she smoke? No, she doesn't smoke. Are you sure? I mean, even before you got married to her? I mean, don't you think she must have lied to you? So why wouldn't her wife lie to me? If, if, if my wife smokes, I would know. Uh, she's allergic to, to smoke. As a matter of fact, she uh, hates anywhere that they smoke. She dislikes anyone that smokes. And do you know why? Uh, doctor, it's because she hates the smell of cigarettes, isn't it? Obvious. I'm sorry, Mr. Daru. What I'm about to tell you now might be a shock to you. But I'm sure your wife must have lied to you. I'm sorry.
Mr. Darius. Hmm? Mr. Darius. Oh, You're still here? Yes, Doctor. So, uh, what time is it? It's past six. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't worry. You can go to work. We'll take care of her. And you know she's in a coma. And we can't do anything until she wakes up. Doctor, but I, I want to be here when my, my, my wife wakes up. She... she won't be up till the next 24 hours. Yeah? Don't worry. I promise to call you if anything comes up. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Good. Sir, the MD had been asking of you. MD? Yes. Did he tell you why? He asked about the home course fire. Oh, the home course fire. I'm still working on it, eh? It's almost ready. You know what? Don't worry, I'll take it to him myself. All right, sir. Sir, do you need mm -hmm. coffee? Uh, no, 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 fine, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Ah, good morning, Dari. Yes, good morning. Ah, uh, I've been asking after you. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, here's the Mr. Okofo fan you asked me to work on. Okay, okay. This is awesome. Good work. Thank you, sir. Wow. I'm impressed. Thank you. Ah. That's good. Uh, Mr. Donald. Yeah? Please, I want to talk to you about something. Okay. What could that be? It's about my wife. Your wife? We are not ruling out other perspectives at the moment. But the truth is that we have to face reality. You see, a large tumor has spread through the larger part of her cerebrum. What? H how? What are you talking about? A tumor? How? Where? No! This, this can't be. What was what, this? That is the X-ray report. It shows a huge gorge in one part of her brain and the large tumor in another part, which also suggests she suffered minor brain damage as a child that was left untreated. From the conclusion of my medical team, if, as you said, she has never smoked, it means she has been exposed to second-hand or third-hand smoking. Second-hand or third-hand? What, what, what was that? Please explain. There are three kinds of smoke. First-hand smoke is the smoke inhaled by the smoker. Second-hand smoke is the smoke he breathes out. Why the third hand smoke is the smoke that lingers around once the cigarette is extinguished. Dr. 
Okay, so I, are you saying that my wife must have lived with smokers since she herself does not smoke? That is the point. Either she had friends or parents who smoke a lot. Either way, she had inhaled a lot of dangerous chemicals. Doctor, my wife lost her parents uh, at a teenage age. And she doesn't have any friend that smoke. I mean, none that I know of. My friends smoke, so why don't I have brain tumor? Yes. The smoker might escape brain tumor, but the person staying with him or her might not escape brain tumor. How? Because the chemicals from the smoke he breathes out is as dangerous as the chemicals in the smoke he inhales. And that's why some countries have banned outdoor smoking or smoking where children is. It's very dangerous. But, uh, so, so what do we do now? We have to be prepared. Surgery is always the best way to go. But that too depends if she wakes up. But are you trying to say that she might not wake up? No. But it's a possibility. And I believe the earlier you know, the better. Take, take your fifty hands off, off me, useless woman. Useless hands, idiot! You are killing the hands. You are killing the hands. And what here? You are killing the hands. You are killing the hands. And you will make me kill you for me. Will she be okay, doctor? Please tell me. What, what? No, is that how they used to do when they want to come out of coma? She just please, I calm down. She will come. I just came in from our meeting and I, I, I just saw her. She was doing. No, last, she will be fine. Oh, Jesus, please, please. Baby, don't worry, be fine, okay? Doctor, what injection is that one?
I I don't understand. Bro, all I'm just asking is for you to loan me some money right now. I'll... Yeah, I'll pay I'll pay you back. Yeah. You understand? Yes, yeah, no, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, it, it's um, it's fine. I thought you understand. are not too final yes yeah, it's, it's Trisha actually she's uh, she's been admitted she's in the hospital yes no I, yeah well I, I'll, I'll just call him because I I need yeah I know you don't, you don't have it's just a little something so I can... Hello? 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 Yeah, but I can hear you. Sorry, you went to... Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I thought you already paid for it. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no problem, I understand. No, it's fine. I I, um, I understand. <laughs> Mr. Dyer, I hope you know we only give salary advancements to staff who have completed a 24-month cycle. She has been diagnosed with cerebral tumor. The hospital is threatening to stop her meds and pull out of the machine if I don't come up with the money uh, by tomorrow. Please, I really need your help. Please. Mr. Dari, you talk as if this is my company. I'm just a manager here. Before you get salary advancement, you need to have been a staff for two years. That is the company's policy. And even at that, you only get two months advancement. <sighs> now tell me, where do you want me to get such a huge amount of money from? Manager, please. Please. This is my wife we're talking about. Please. I don't want my wife to die. Please. Manager. Anybody else to meet? Please. Um. Hey, God. Listen. I'll see what I can do for you. I understand your situation mm -hmm. and understand the position you are in now. I do understand, so I'll see what I can do. Uh, I will talk to the GM when I get to the head office. Hope you understand. Please try and understand. Please wake up. Please. 
I miss you so much. in the kitchen and then I felt a twitch in my head and the next thing I just blacked out that's all that I darling darling don't I stress remember. yourself don't worry the most important thing is that you're okay now okay the doctor said you you had a head injury but well, you're fine now okay Are you sure yeah you don't look like I'm fine you're fine okay I miss you. How is work? Everything is fine, okay? I don't want you to stress yourself <laughs> about me. You know what? You should even just rest. Oh, but I'm so happy I'm so happy. Okay. Why don't you get some rest? Are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Stay with me. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I've been here for Mr. Dari, we can't continue to treat your wife unless you make a down payment. Um, doctor, I, I know. Please, just give me some time, okay? Please. You don't understand. She doesn't have more time. If we don't do something fast, I'm sorry, but it might be too late. No, 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 please, doctor, please. I, I reject it. Please, let me not be late. Please, doctor, I promise you, please. I'm sure there's something you can do for me. Please, please. I understand your position here, but I want you to understand me as well. This is a private hospital, and we need money to run it. I know. I'm working on it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I will get your money at cost to you. Please. How soon is that? Um, doctor, just give me, just give me some, some, some few days before the end of this week. Yes, please. Before the end of this week, I will definitely come and make payment. Please. I will take your word for it. 
But please, make sure you make the payment. Please. Just come in. So, how is your wife now? Uh, well, she came out of coma last night. So, we thank God. She's looking better. I am sorry about that. I can understand. And it must be very tough on you. Tough is an understatement. As I'm talking to you right now, I've still not been able to raise the huge sum of money that the hospital is asking me to pay for her medical bills. But, um, I am sorry about that. So sorry. Uh, Diary, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. The company have noticed your lack of concentration to duty over the past few weeks, particularly the Nikon project which you were handling and the company is very upset about it. I really begged on your behalf. But sadly, they've asked me to relieve you of your position. Please, you, you, please, you, you, can't, you, you, you can't do this to me right now. Please, I'm begging you, please. But this job is the only thing I have. Please, I, I need this job. I, I know I've not been putting in your work, but you know my situation, please. Let me talk to management. Yeah, please let me. Please, Mr. Darry, there's nothing I can do. It's not in my hands. You're a good staff. And it's not easy for me to lose you. But the circumstances beyond my control. I hope you understand this. I will, I will put in over time. I will, I will put in more. I will do anything. Please. I can't lose my job now. My wife is in the hospital. My wife, you know about this now. Please. Talk to them. I have to be good staff before, before, before this job is started. Please. Um, Dari. Oh, God. Why? This is the little support of mine. Add it to the severance pay from the cashier. Please, this decision is not mine. It's from the management. Why? Why? Just try and understand. Why am I offended? Why am I offended? Stop me. I'm sorry about that. Huh? I'm sorry about that, Barry. Yes. Sorry, sir. I believe you get a better job.
better. Oh, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming now. this house. I'm sure the house misses you too. Uh, baby, do you want something to drink? Do you want anything? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Babe? Is there something you're not telling me? I mean, like something that uh, happened and um, you didn't tell me. Something like what? No, nothing. Just checking if there's anything you want to tell me that you haven't told me, but I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is something actually. Oh, really? What? Tea. I said I didn't want anything, but I want tea. Tea? Mm -hmm. I miss drinking tea. Okay, let, let me let me fix that for you. But I fear that with the kind of love and care you've shown me, I might be very wrong. Baby, I know you want food. And but if, if, if anything happens to me, I... No, no, no. Don't say that. Trisha, don't say what you're about to say. Nothing will happen to you. I know, but I would wish for nothing more than to give you a chance before I die. You're, you're not going to die. 
Don't steal their treasure. You're not. Okay? We would live together and have beautiful kids and travel around the world and have lots of fun, okay? Because I love you. And I know that you love me too. Sunshine. You are the sweetest man in the world. I know. <laughs> I mean, what time did you even wake up to make this? Babe, don't worry about that, okay? Um, just taste it first. Hopefully you don't draw. You know you cook good. You know what? Eat your food, let me... Baby, you know I can stay if you want me to. Hey, no. I will not let you go if I can take care of myself. I'll be fine. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Please, I'm just a phone call away. If you need anything, just call me, alright? Hello? Hey bro, how are you doing now? Yeah, I do, I do, I do, man. Yeah, she's okay, she's recovering. No, I, I, I haven't told her yet, too. Bro, I can't. Fredo, how do I want to tell my wife that is still recovering, that I just lost my job? How? But I don't know I want to do that one now. 
Okay, no wahala. I'll um I'll see you later, okay? Don't dare me. I said, don't you dare me. I give you an order. If we lose money because of your incompetence, you will not only have your ass on fire. Everyone near you will roast with you. Did I make myself clear? Good. Mr. Man, why are we crawling? Put some life in this car. I'm running late already. Move it, just move it, please. So what's the name? Derry. Good. Yeah. I make a couple of rounds every day. And I have tried a lot of drivers. And so far you have impressed me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good. Let's see how you perform within the week. Okay. Just one minute. I'll be back.
told you let's stay with the original game plan. Get everybody on board and get them working. If anything goes wrong, just call me. Thank you. Take me back to my hotel. Okay, sir. Sir, sorry, where's your hotel? Where you picked me from. Okay, sir. Um, Gary, tell me something about you. Sir, there's, there's nothing to tell about me. Huh. Are you married? Yes, I am, sir. Then there's something to tell. How long have you been married? I've been married for about uh, two years, five months. Four weeks and uh, three days. Wow. You keep good count. Yes, sir. She must be a wonderful woman. Oh, she's a rare gem. She's amazing. Lucky you. Thank you, sir. I lost my family many years ago. Sorry about that, sir. You don't have to be. It was all my fault. Piece of advice for you. If you have got family, you've got everything. Um, I will pay you fifty thousand naira per week plus twenty thousand naira. For your fuel, 20,000 naira for your wardrobe, 20,000 naira for your feeding, plus 20,000 naira for your car. Help me and do the mathematics. And this depends if you make it through the week. Thank you so much, sir. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. I promise you I would not disappoint you, sir. Good. You will be here 9 a.m. Not before, not after. Yes, sir. Have a good night. Good night, sir. I'm so tired. I had a long day. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, you made dinner? Yes, I did. I didn't know you were. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to make dinner. Smell good. Ooh, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Well, I figured you might be hungry. I am. But before I eat this, I want to eat something else. I want, I want to eat what? <laughs> Sleep well. Good morning. Good morning, darling. Oh, God, baby. 
Yep, you know how to flitch is something before I head off to work. Baby. Yeah? You're running late, you have to go. Don't worry, don't worry about it, baby. I'm, I'll be fine, okay? I'm more worried about you. I'm fine. I will be fine. Are you okay? Yes, I am. You know what, let me worry. Okay, baby, if you need me, call me. Okay? If you need me, I will call you. Hey, hey, come back. Love you. No, I can't do that. We agreed on 60% and that's exactly what it's going to be. I am the one taking all the risk, running the street every day because your incompetent, brainless fools can't fucking do the job. What money? You are insane. Don't you ever talk to me about any money. Um, mister. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget names as quickly as I hear them. Okay. I think it's old age. So you don't look that old. Oh, come on. I am old. <laughs> I get to think sometimes that God is partial. Because I am supposed to be dead a long time ago. But here I am. Well, that's what makes him God. He gets to decide who dies first. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. So how is family? Any children? Uh, not yet, sir. <laughs> it doesn't make it any easier. I know you can't wait to have children. But believe me, you won't feel great about them as you do now, the moment you have them. Why, sir, I think children are a gift from God and we should love them regardless of what they do. Oh. What did you read in school? Accountant. So you're an accountant? Oh, yes. I used to work at an insurance firm um, you know, before I got fired a few days ago. Sorry to hear about that. Why? Well, uh, I was not concentrating on my job because I had a family emergency. So they had to let me go. Such a pity. So you took to cab driving immediately? Uh, well, it, it wasn't uh, deliberate. I was heading to see a friend and then uh, a lady stopped me. I said to myself, well, I might as well make the extra money. And then after that, you're my second passenger. So I am your second client? Yes. <laughs> I hope I will be the last. Well, hopefully so. We are going to make um, four stops today. It's 10.30 a.m. now. The next stop is 12 midday. Then the third stop is 3.30 p.m. And our final stop will be 10.30 p.m. You have not told your wife that you lost your job and that you are now a cab driver, right? A diary. which means you're a good liar. So find one now. She will understand.
There's a new development. Take me to the cafe. Okay, sir. Yeah. Two minutes. If you don't see me in two minutes, drive. Sir? I want you to say it. Two minutes drive. Two, two minutes drive. When was that? Around 4 o'clock, sir. Call her now. You won't get opportunity until you get home. I don't want her to get worried. Because if she does, she'll start calling you. Pull over and talk to her. you know that I will not be coming back home early tonight. How late? Um, let, let's say around midnight. Midnight? Is everything okay? Are you okay? Baby, I'm, I'm, I'm with my boss and uh, we're working on that contract. You, you know, it's, it's very important. I know, it's just that I miss you. Have you taken your drugs? Yes, I have. And I made dinner for you. Oh, oh, okay. Don't stay up for me. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. I love you. I love you. Bye. Did you say drugs? Yes, sir. She has cancer. Sorry to hear it.
can pack over there. Turn off your light. Give me your phone. I need your phone. I don't want you to have any ideas. So I won't have any ideas. I know you won't because you're not stupid. Give me your damn phone. I hope you understand. This is strictly business. Occupational hazard. We all want to be safe. right now. No. You're bleeding. No hospital. Just what? drive. You're bleeding. You need to see a doctor. Take me home. Home? Where, where, where is home? Take me to your house. To, to where? My house? Yes. No. You can't, you, you can't go to my house. My family is in my house. I, I can't get my family involved in this. No. You've been shot. Twenty million naira in this briefcase. Just take me to your house and call a doctor. Your wife is sick, right? You lost your job. Twenty million naira will get you out of poverty fast. Take me to your house. Now. You're going to bleed to death. I don't know why you insist on coming to my house. So, so I'm really worried. You need a doctor to look at you. You're going to bleed to death. No hospital. There's a phone in my pocket. Take it and call my doctor. He will come here. He will understand. So, what is his name? Johnson. Johnson. Ah! Where are you going? Um, so I, I, I need to I need to let my wife know that I'm. I'm, I'm back home. She's going to be worried about me. She's sick and she hasn't seen me all day. She has been calling me. Well, call her from here. Sorry, I, I, I need to explain to her what is, what, what, what is going on. I say Sorry. call her from here. Hey, honey. Hey, please, just, just, just take it easy, okay? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Listen, I can explain. I can explain. Just have to. I, 
How is it possible? How is it? What is it? How did you find me? Pip, you you know him. Pip, do, do you know? Baby, talk to me. What's going on? Do, do you know him? There are so many things you do not know about me. Things that if you hear, if you hear about them, you will not see me or love me the way you used to. I, I, I love you and I would always love you. No matter what happened in the past. While you were in the hospital, there were so many things I learned about you. But nothing would ever change how I feel about you. Nothing! How did you find me? How is it even possible? What are you talking about? This is a passenger. I. 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 I how, how do you know him? Do you know this man? You want to understand? Then make me understand, Trisha. Make me understand! Trisha. It all started when I was six years old. This last man! This last man! Always on drugs. He would smoke and drink and beat up my mom. No day passed without him beating her mercilessly. And when he was done, he would turn to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen, and one day he came back home. I met my father seated in the living room, with splashes of blood all over his face. He was just smoking. did he do to you? Everything. He did. 
Why didn't you run? There was nowhere to run to. Why, why didn't you tell your relative? I only had a relative in Abuja. You know how it is? Who was going to listen to me? What would he do? In this part of the world, Men are allowed to run their families the way they want to. So, so why didn't you go to the police? The police? I was too young and too scared. He became very insecure and scared that I would run. And then he caged me even more. Full of your clothes. Mm. 
There's no washing today. Yes, sir. Get back inside. Yes, sir. Get back inside. And then I gave up hope. I just, I just waited for death to either take me or take him. I'm, I'm so sorry you had to go through that at a tender age all by yourself. Your dad was a monster. But he yet, deserved to die. Yet I loved him. I was so hurt that I would pray that he would die. But deep down in me, I only wished that he would just stop and just change. He deserved to die. He, he, he deserved even more than death. He, he deserved to sleep and never wake up. It never happened. He lived. The more he lived, the more I died. Until one day, I decided to be death. If God has forsaken me, then I haven't forsaken myself. I became death. His death. did the right thing. He really did deserve to die. I killed my father. Well, he killed you first. I murdered my father. He murdered you first. Baby. He did deserve to die for all the atrocities he committed to you. I'm so sorry you would have to forever live with the fact that you killed him, but you did the right thing. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. Don't, don't, don't say anything, okay? Look. Nobody is going to harm you again. Okay? But he has a God. What? A monster. He's my father. 
What? Trisha, put the gun down. I'm asking you. you. Better start talking. I'm his driver. What? No, I mean, baby, you are an accountant and you work in. in... No, 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 no. I lost my job. I lost my job while you were sick. I couldn't get myself to tell you. So I've, I've been driving him around. I mean, uh, I mean. Uh, yeah, yes, all those times. All, was... this, all this while, you. I was pretending to go to work, but I, I, I was driving him around. Please, he needs don't, to... don't move, don't touch him. Don't, don't touch him. You don't know how dangerous this man is. I will not let you ruin my life the second time. You hear me? Baby, I, I, I need to call his doctor now. Let me always talk to him. It's over. It's over for me. What a day. I've always known that I will meet you again. But not like this. Please, come, come and hold my hands. <laughs> Over my dead body, will I allow you to lay those filthy hands on me again? Trisha, if this man is your father like you say he is, at least hear him out. Hear what he has to say. What does he have to say? He has nothing to say. Nothing good can come out of such an evil man. She's right. There's nothing good about me. I'm a very despicable man. I have wronged you in so many ways. You can't imagine. But please, find in your heart to forgive me. Forgive you? And how would that bring back my mother? My mother that you killed? Would that bring her back? No. But I have lived with what I did to you and your mother for the rest of my life. It has haunted me. I have been running ever since the day you tried to kill me. Please, forgive me. Please. Barista James is my lawyer. He will give you everything I own. Just tell him you are lost. Lost? What is lost? It's a code word for you. I've always known that she's out there somewhere. And I've always known that I'll see her. And today I have. I'm sorry. Dari, please forgive me. Keep her. Take care of her. She's very special. <laughs> 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 